Hello everybody and a very warm welcome. So we're launching our brand new one day special and it is special. Hunky Dory has finally come to the craft store. So we're really happy to have Hunky Dory here. Not only Hunky Dory, but we've also got the lovely Laura as well. Hello, Laura. Hello. So Laura, you were in how long ago, a few days ago? Um, I think it was, was it Saturday? Oh, Saturday, okay. I think so. And when you were last in, three people thought you were Irish. Yeah, <sighs> and so we ended my last show. Um, I had my last show with Lowen, so uh -huh. I'd done three shows, and by then, three people had asked me if I was Irish, so Lowen kind of just left it there that okay. they, she was going to leave people guess where oh, I was from. Guessing. Well, we can, we can leave people guessing, or we can just say you're Welsh. Well, there yeah. we go. Yeah, well, <laughs> God, you're Welsh. Uh, um, it's, uh, no, it's really nice getting to uh, meet you, getting to work with you, Laura. So, yeah. Hunky Dory, now I'm really conscious of the fact I know Hunky Dory, and I actually went to the craft store and had the honour of uh, doing a Hunky Dory show. But anyone not familiar. What did I say? Did I say a craft store? Oh, sorry. Crate and Craft. No, that makes sense. Uh, I went to Crate and Craft. Yeah, and so had, at the craft. Yeah, had the pleasure of doing a Hunky Dory show. Yes. Yeah. So, anyone who's not familiar, with Hunky Dory. Tell us a little bit about the brand. Yeah, so Hunky Dory is a UK based brand and we try and make everything that we can here in the UK. Now it started off with cardstock and toppers and kits and then we've just grown from there and we've started bringing new tools, equipment and then it kind of went into Moonstone so we bring dyes now as well and our prism range as well which is what we've got on the show today which is amazing because it's yeah. kind of just grown and grown and it is a family business as well that's how it all started. Preston? So Yeah, yeah. so here in the UK and we do try and bring make as much as we can in the UK as well, which is nice. We like that. And you yes. bring such goodies. I have to say, the value on this bundle is incredible. You are getting 46 watercolour pencils. Did I say 46? 48, I'm so <laughs> sorry. And it, the, the, uh, I'll do a little, little joke, because when we're doing our production meeting, I asked how many pencils, but no one heard me. So then I started to count. And by the time I got to about 38, they said, oh, it's on the actual sheet. It's, 40, it's 48. <laughs> so thank you, guys. Uh, 48 <laughs> pencils. So I should have remembered that. But really nice pencils. As a crafter, Laura, what do you kind of look for in a watercolour pencil? Yeah, they are. They are amazing pencils. And they're really high pigmented as well. But the case, I absolutely love yeah. the case. Like, I'm a girl. If it's got a case in there, yeah. it is well. amazing for me. So the case actually rolls up. Every pencil has got an individual holder to actually hold the pencil. Oh, so if nice. you're missing one, you know you're missing one. Yeah. It's got the net on the bottom as well so they're not going to fall out they're actually in place for you so when you're going to use them you can just unroll it you can see you've got the protector on the top to protect the actual nibs of the pencils and on the end you've got a little zip there mm -hmm. and what you're going to pop in there is your three brushes that you get with the collection as well oh, you can you pop water in brushes there. yeah you get three different size water brushes so you've got everything you need in this collection oh, yeah. all tucked away in there really nice and safe and it rolls up and then you can just tie it up then as well well thinking about this laura because as a crafter with the colors that we have here in my mind we've got every color every we color. need yes so if you're doing your florals you've got your beautiful brights in there if you want to do your landscapes or ski uh, seascapes we've got our blues we've got our greens we've got our earthy tones so in my view that's a oh, full colour palette covered. It is, and the amazing thing with watercolour pencils as well is obviously they blend. You can overlay these as well. So maybe you, you like the pink, but you want a different kind of tone of pink. Mm. Mix them up. You can overlay these colours to make a different blend as well. And actually, in this collection, with that um, handbook that you get as well, you actually... Um, have yeah. colour swatches in there as well that will nice. actually guide you on that as well. Well, I just wanted to say, Laura, I'm sorry to interrupt, <laughs> uh, but Laura's already seen what I'm going to mention. Now, this colour swatch, Aww. it doesn't happen overnight. It takes a team to do something like this. And to prove the point, we're going to have a look. It's an old joke. How many, how many crafters does it take to do a swatch? I'll tell you, it took three of our team working very, very... Look at them all. There's Lewis as our director. And... Who's, who's, who's that in the middle? Is that Ross? Who's that in the middle? Oh, it's Lou. Lou from photography came to help as well. I apologise. So in the far back is Taz, our director. He's known as the bear here. He's oh, good. OK. Oh, see, it's, it's tough times now, but if we were outside or before COVID, okay. you would have got a bear hug when you oh, came in. Oh, OK. Yeah, something to look forward to. Something Laura. to look forward to, yeah. Uh, and then you've got uh, an equally huggable Lewis there, our floor manager. So that's the team. OK, now I feel... 
I feel we've lavished a lot of attention on the team correctness <laughs> uh, So if you do want the pencils by themselves, we're just going to give you the details on the screen. Now, the reason why I want to show you this is because you've got a £5 saving for the pencils there. That £5 saving has been carried across to the one-day special. So when we show you the details, you're not saving £17, you're saving £22 with the one-day special uh, if you factor in that £5 that's already been taken off. Now, Laura, we're not just getting the pencils. No. Talk to me about this, because this is a great little addition to the Yes, bundle. it is. If you are somebody that's completely new to um, actually watercolour in, or maybe you know you've you've tried watercolour in, but you you know you do the basics, you do what you're comfortable yeah. with actually doing. This is a great little book to get in. The fact that you get it in your free as well is amazing. Sweet, yeah. You know, it's one of them that you can just flick through back back and forth. Now at the start, you'll see your basics. You know, explaining to you about the pencils, about the high pigment, yeah. yeah, of the pencils, how to look after them, how to sharpen them, and it'll mm. give you a rough guide of how to take care of them. And then as you go through the book, you'll get colour um, charts in here for colours that you might want to mix and match together colour like wheel, I said at the yeah. start you can get different tones in these as well it's what you were saying about developing blending them colours, yeah. yeah about blending your pencils and then as you go throughout the book you're going to get different techniques so you're going to get you know your basic colour in different techniques different brushes how you can use these pencils to their full potential like that so that effectively is a little crash course in a book to get the most out of your pencil. So you're getting that with the one day special. And what I love about Hunky Dory, British brand, and what they're, where they can, they try and make everything here in the UK if possible. So you've got a British brand that puts so much thought into everything. You've got the education to go with your pencils. You've got your water brushes. Now, Laura, we've talked about this in the past. I know a few years ago, this is old yep. information, but when I first joined the channel, okay. I was looking at watercolour brushes and you could find them, they were about seven pounds, maybe a little bit more for one watercolour yes. brush. I don't know if prices have changed because I only look at our prices here and they're great. But yeah, <laughs> you're getting all three of these watercolour brushes, yes. different sizes to the actual yes. brush. So every single one is a different size. You've got a small, medium and a large mm -hmm. in there. So the small is really small. That's going to be for like your detail if you're colouring something small in. Yeah. You've got a medium one and then you've got a larger one for your backgrounds. Now all you do with these is just un unscrew the top you add the water in yep. and then the water just is consti constantly flowing through your brush. A constant flow? Yes, nice. so you don't have to clean your brushes. Whenever you're doing something, just scribble on some card yeah. just to get the colour off your brush and you're good to go. Like that. So we're getting the three brushes, we're getting our education in the book, you're getting your 48 pencils and we're not stopping there because you're also getting your watercolour cardstock. And when we say watercolour cardstock, this is a beautiful cardstock. So uh, here you are going to be getting 60 A5 sheets, 300 GSM. Yes. That is an awful lot to play around with. Yeah, it's really good quality cardstock. And you know, when we are bringing you watercolors, you can't emphasize enough that you need to use watercolor card. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes. to get the best effect. Yes, so you know, if you are, whatever you are doing with your watercolour pencils, make sure you're using watercolour mm. card. So if you are getting this bundle and you're maybe completely new yeah. and you've never done watercolour in before, this is amazing because you've got literally everything you need. So when you get this home, you know, all you really need to add in is maybe some stamps and you're good to go. If you look at this, the value we have on the show, and remember there's already savings applied within here, so you've got five pounds saving already taken off. Your two flexi payments of 19.98. Now let's just break this down because this pad by itself is 11.99, say 12 pounds, and we'll prove that at the bottom of your screen. We'll say 12 pounds just to help my maths. All right, no, actually, Meg, you help me out. 11.99, <laughs> okay? So 11.99, now take 11.99 off our price, the 39 pounds. So we're down to 27 pounds and 97, is it? Then if you look at your watercolour brushes, so, I mean, a guesstimation, three watercolour brushes, what would you say, 9.99? I think we've, that's good. All right, so we have actually got these on for 9.99. I think that's very good for three yes, watercolour I brushes. Yes, I do. I, mean, <laughs> I think that's, I was gonna say about 15 pounds. Oh, that's exactly <laughs> what I was gonna them, say. Yeah. But okay, we'll stick with our prices. So we'll take another 9.99 off the price there. So now we're down to 17.98. We've got the book, I won't, give you a price, we haven't got the, the book yet. Oh, we've got the book, okay, stop that. We've got the book, if you wanted to buy that individually, that's 9.99. Let's take 9.99 off the price again. That means you are paying 7.99 for the pencils. 48 pencils, how do you like them maths? <laughs> hey? 
<laughs> That's quick maths. Seven ninety nine <laughs> quality amazing. pencils from Hunky Dory. And you're not just getting the pencils, you're also getting the highly coveted uh, case, that roll up case as well. But genuinely, that's how I like to do things when you shop. And we've got all the items I mentioned, we are selling individually on our website. Eleven ninety nine here, nine ninety nine here, nine ninety nine here. So when you think about it that way. All of these watercolour pencils, for uh, 40 or 48 of them, for 7 98 is breathtakingly good. <laughs> That's why it's a one-day special. And when you see Laura using these, I promise you are going to fall in love with them. We are busy for our one-day special. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm so pleased to have Laura and Hunky Dory joining us. Because Hunky Dory, as a company, as a company, I was telling Laura, because you know when, when we were rivals? It was like, we were like opposing schools. Um, you, you might be too young to remember Grey We're like Hill. rugby teams. Well, okay, like rugby teams. And you know, like, you know, you see it and you think, oh, you, you can't be friends. But now, obviously, we are. We're yeah. all one big family. And the jo joking aside, when we do become one channel, I think it's a really good thing for craft because what's going to happen, the absolute best of both worlds now, because obviously, yes. if you're a craft store fan, you might not have watched Hunky Dory and vice versa. Yeah. Hunky, um, craft, uh, Crate and Craft, why am I <laughs> struggling with this? But Crate and Craft would have missed out on a lot of our brands. Yeah. Yes. Now it's all in one place. Yeah. So you don't have to is. worry about missing stuff. Yeah, it's going to be amazing. Yeah, it's going to be good. All right, we are busy for our one day special. Let's jump to the website and have a little look. Oh, you are shopping ahead for the markers. Now, we've got various deals on the markers. Can I draw your attention to our big bundle? Because there's a large bundle with the markers. The one you're seeing there, as a Freedom member, you are saving £80.87. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. When we saw. Is that what you're paying? Oh, as a, you're kidding. Wait a second. Freedom members, it's £80.87 for everything. Wow. Okay, I apologize. I said the savings. That's incredible price. That's an incredible price. And I know Laura loves her alcohol markers. Uh, now, if you're not a Freedom member, you're saving. It's a £60 saving. If you're a Freedom member, the saving goes up to £68.99. Still, all of those alcohol markers for £80.87 is incredible. Uh, so if you are looking for some alcohol markers, we have definitely got you covered. And they are really good quality. One thing I can attest to when it comes to Hunky Dory, the quality that you receive. That's a really good buy. Considering each one of those sets would typically retail at £9.99 individually. So great buy. Take advantage of Freedom membership as well. Now, Laura. You're used to your 42 minute shows. I know. We get a little bit longer here. We do. An hour show. So, uh, should we start playing? What are we going to do? Yes. So, what I'm going to do, first of all, is I'm going to use so one of our brand new stamps that mm -hmm. we've brought in. Um, we've got florals in them. So, nice. that's what I've picked out first the hydrangea. Screams for colour. It, it does. Yeah. So, we're going to go with that. Don't. Okay. Ask me any what colours they're meant to be though, because I wouldn't okay. be able to tell you. Well, I think what well, hydrangea is sort of purple. I've got I've gone with purples. Hey, so. It's the right answer. <laughs> it's like I knew. <laughs> and now I've just cut so this is some watercolour card from that pad that we've just seen in the Wednesday special. And I'm using my stamp press. Yeah. Okay, so I don't think we've actually shown this okay. before. So basically what it is, it's a stamping platform. You can use it either way. I prefer using it that way. You okay. can use it either way you, you, you choose. Now the amazing thing about this is it's got um, little notches here and when you push down you'll see they just go in. Yeah. And on this side they've got magnets. So these magnets oh. will just clip on here. So when you actually line up your stamp it's not touching your card. So that's really good. It yes. means that we can kind of check it out, make sure we're happy, and when we're happy, commit to pressing down. Yeah, so in your stamping platform, you do get these two little things as well. Try not to lose them. I have to buy new ones of these, I think, every month. Magnets. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> they are, they're little magnets. Yeah. They've got handles on, which is really good, because I've had some before, which is just a magnet, and then well, they're they really hard together. to get off. They're impossible yeah. to uh, yeah, separate. So I'm just going to pop this card down, mm -hmm. and then I'm just going to put my magnets on there to hold this down. So you've got that there. So if you have, if maybe if you struggle stamping, and you've stamped an image, you can stamp it again. It's not going to move anywhere. So yeah. you can stamp it twice to get a crisp, clean Perfect. stamp. And also what this means is if you were maybe building up a scene here or maybe um, if I brought in this, maybe I want my um, sentiment to go there, I can actually just put my stamp where I need it to be so I can see where everything is going to line up. Right. And then what you're going to do then is just put your magnets back on, Ooh. close this, and then your stamp is in the perfect place. 
Yeah, so you like. know where your stamp is going to be then, and like you know that. it's going to be in the right place. If you do want the stamping tool, the craft tool here, that stamp press, we have got it. Uh, we're just going to flash the details for you. So it's right here. Makes a difference. It's $29.99. Details on the screen. You are saving £5. Your item number there is 707495. Okay. Right. Now Good I'm going to. Technique gonna... with the anti static bag, Laura? Yeah, so I'm actually going to do some heat embossing. So I've just remembered I do need my anti static bag. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I've just gone over that with an anti static bag. You need that if you're going to do some heat embossing, just to make sure you get a crisp, clean yeah. um, impression with it, because otherwise you can get bits of embossing powder sticking to places where you don't want it to stick. So I'm using a um, embossing ink pad. Now this one I'm using is actually one of our um, rare earth ones. Okay. So, but you know, as long as it's a embossing ink, then you're good. Right. So I've put that down now and I'm just gonna push this down. Mm -hmm. Now the stamp doesn't actually touch the card until I push down. You've yeah. got that, you can see I can get my fingers under it's it. Relief, You've got yeah. that bit of um, leeway there. Now if I lifted that up and I could see maybe I've missed a bit, mm -hmm. if you just put that back on and push that back down, it, nothing has nothing moved. Weird. So you can stamp it again. So if you are maybe new to stamping, mm. it's a great way to actually get into it. Nifty because tool. Yeah, because yeah, I can remember when I first got, got into stamping, you know, that mm. would be... You know, it can be a bit scary. Yeah. What was your journey into crafting, Laura? Have you always been a crafter? Um, I think I've always been a bit arty. Like, I yeah. loved art and stuff in school. Um, but I started crafting about... Um, I'm just going to put my heat too long, just to warm Please up. Do, yeah. um, it must have been about seven years ago, eight years ago. Right. Um, <laughs> and everybody laughs when they say the story. Um, so I started crafting and then eventually I got asked to join a design team. Yeah. And then... Oh, it must have been good. Um, after a bit then, I actually got asked to join Hunky Dory design team. Wow. And it was, so it, that was the first design team that I joined where I needed to make cars to actually come on the TV. Yeah. Sounds like suddenly joining like a premiership team. Yeah, it was so exciting, but at the same time, I was one of these crafters that would get something, I would pull it out of the box, I would look at it for about a week, yeah. and I wouldn't do anything with it because it would scare me. <laughs> so that when I joined this design team, I was so scared at the thought that I actually had to make cards. Can you remember the first time you saw one of your cards on TV? Um, no, I can't. Oh, I'm no. surprised. I thought you would remember. But in saying that, you've gone from being nervous about showing your cards to then obviously being an established guest <laughs> on TV. Yes, yeah, so I've gone full full circle. Yeah. So yeah, I kind of, and that, that's where it started. And then um, I started going to like um, stores and things mm. and demonstrating for the day there. Yeah. And then eventually I got asked to um, come on the channel. I must be not watching, obviously, Hunky Dory shows, and now you're representing Yeah, it was. It was so yeah. strange. And when you see people, because obviously you're used to just seeing them, you know, in your, yeah. in your craft room on your TV, yeah, and yeah. then all of a sudden you're in this room. Now, I'm not watching you here. So this is, a, again, a good indication of the quality of the pigment on the pencils. You're yeah. actually just lifting the colour off yeah, the tip. Yeah, so all I've done, so this brush now, so you can see that this one is the medium size brush. Mm -hmm. So you can see it's a really nice size. And I've had mine... Oh, I don't even know, for a long time now. I haven't replaced them or anything. And then all I'm going to do, because I've done a white emboss, um, your emboss almost acts like grooves. With like a resist? Yeah, and it almost, um, if you do struggle with actual um, colouring or anything, because you've got that raised edge, it almost acts like, um, like a groove. You can't yeah. actually go out of the line. If you wanted to, you could go in and flood the, this with colour, with yeah. water, and then just go in and add bits of colour, and you're just going to get that bleed it's a good going guidance. out. So it's a really nice technique. Right. And like I said, you can go in, like if I just wipe on here for a mm -hmm. bit longer, okay. and I go next to this one, you can see, look how much darker that colour is. Oh, yeah. Because I'm adding so much more pigment in. Beautiful. So you can really go in and change the colour of these. Like I said, blend. If you wanted to, you could go in with the light one. Yeah. And then go in with the darker one. Well, like and then if I come over these. to this one. And you were saying to me, Laura, that watercolour pencils, and especially as a demonstrator, it's a very quick and easy way to create drama onto a card. So we could literally just stamp and do a, a light colour wash with the watercolours and you're pretty much done. You can, and 
um, when I first started um, stamping and colouring, it was actually watercolour was the first thing that I did because mm. I found um, watercolour and just it's just more forgiving. Yeah. Like you can go in, you can blend the colours. You can see, look how far I'm taking the colour. Mm. You can just get, you know, every one of those petals looks a different shade of purple. Okay. And all I'm doing is just going in. I'm just using what's left on my brush. Yeah. So it's cleaning itself. So as I carry on, you'll see that I'll end up coming back mm. to clear. So, oh, nice. so can you see? Yeah. Wait, yeah. I've just, it's just come down. And so you're, this is what I'm saying about the brush. It's self-cleaning. Yeah. It'll come through. And then all I've done, so I've done one ready right, because I, didn't, okay. I didn't think you wanted to sit there watching me colouring the whole day. thing in. Oh, where, where in Wales are you from? Carmarthenshire. Carmarthenshire. Gail, who's over there. Gail, where in Wales are you? Where, are you? where do you live? Uh, I'm from Cardiff. Oh. I, I live in Tobble Green. There you go, another yeah. Welsh girl. Oh. There you go. Oh. This is nice. It it's is. Like is. A, Normally I'm the Welsh only one. <laughs> it is. But stop talking Welsh in there. <laughs> 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 so it's Gail, Daisy Chains are going to be on. It's tomorrow, so uh, they're setting up. Right, okay. now, and all I've done in, in my other one, mm -hmm. so just to show you on here, is I've gone in with a grey and then all I'm going to do is just drag that colour out and it will just blend into the background. Yeah. So just to make that white pop. Oh, nice. And then if I grab, so if I grab this one, so you can see what I've already done there. Oh, that's so pretty. So I've just put that grey around the edge yeah. just to get that white to pop from oh, the white behind it that's so really pretty. all of that now is those two brushes and then i've just gone in with some brown and some green but you can go in and you can do some really nice techniques that's and like funny. i said it's so forgiving yeah. how it works really because nice. you've got that watercolor pigment like watercolor is the most blendable type of pigment that you yeah. can have so it's really nice to go in Laura, and I've use these I've got to pause you there. I'm okay, so sorry. Okay. I tell you why, and I promise we're going to get back to you as soon okay, as possible. Okay. We are really, really busy for our one day special. Let me just break this down for you. Anyone watching right now, do you have any watercolors? Are you looking maybe to upgrade? Maybe you had a set and they're running low, you've used them, uh, or you don't have any watercolors. You might have alcohol markers. Hunky Dory is a brand, an established brand, a UK brand, so you know the quality that you're getting with Hunky Dory, especially if you're a Crate and Craft fan. Here, let me just break this down for you. We are getting the pencils. I'm not going to look at the pencils just yet. I will follow me on this one because this is how I would be doing it. Now, for the pad here, you're getting quality watercolor cardstock, 300 GSM. We are selling that individually for $11.99. So let's take $11.99 off. I'll do all the math for you, but we're going to take $11.99 off the price. Then we've got our watercolour brushes here. Now, these individually, we're selling for $9.99, which both Laura and myself said, that's a very good price. I mean, typically, you could pay, what, up to £15 for something like that. But we're, we'll stick with the $9.99. So $9.99 here, uh, $11.99 here. The handbook, so this is a beautiful uh, course, really, and how to get the most out of your watercolours. Loads of techniques, explanations. That's $9.99, and that's well worth having, especially if you're new to watercolouring or just want to refresh on your technique it talks about the color wheel and everything so that's 9.99 here so when you think about it taking all of those prices into account means that all 48 of these pencils with the case work out at 7.99 now I challenge you I absolutely challenge you to find quality and it re I really do mean quality and you'll notice you can see the difference when Laura's working with these quality watercolor pencils 48 of them with the roll-up case for $7.99. Try and find it, because I think you're going to struggle. But we've got it here as a one-day special. Uh, it is a special price. You're not saving £17, because you've actually got a further £5 already factored in. We've got two flexi panels of $19.98, and you're going to use every component of these. You will use the brushes with, in conjunction with the watercolors, uh, watercolor pencils. You need to, to get the most out of them. We will absolutely be using our watercolor paper. Again, you need to have watercolor paper to get the best results. And you will be referring to your guide here because that is your course to get the most out of your pencils and when you look at the actual colors as well 48 colors there is a color for every occasion so what kind of things are you going to be exploring Laura was demonstrating so beautifully there uh, if you've got your flowers all these beautiful bright bold punchy colors for your flowers or if you wanted to create skylines sunsets 
Incredible, right? Then we've got our blues and our greens. So that's for your seascapes, your landscapes. You've got pastel tones in there as well. Uh, there is a white too, which is obviously very effective. We can't see it because obviously it's white cardstock, but you are getting uh, a white on there too. All of those colors at your fingertips. So a full color palette there as well. But the salient point, and we are really busy for this, Okay, things, I'm, I know we've got to move on, but things I've learned as a crafter, if you're going to invest in pencils, make sure you invest in good quality. I've worked with Hunky Dory at Crate and Craft, and I really actually had a really good meeting uh, with Hunky Dory, and we sat down with Laura and uh, the team when I was there at Crate and Craft and got to know the brand. Hunky Dory invest a huge amount, and if you are from Crate and Craft, so maybe you're tuning in today to catch the show, you will know the quality Hunky Dory brings. So the quality is there. The value is exceptional. I'm going to reiterate, if you take into account how much everything in here is worth individually, and they're all fair prices. We haven't over, you know, it's not like they've been inflated. They are the fair individual prices. And by the way, legally, just point this out because it's a question I often get asked. We cannot, if we give a price individually, that is the price it has to be. We can never overinflate it. And that's a legal requirement of shopping TV. So taking into account all of these prices means that you are paying seven pounds and 90, it's 99 pence? Or something. Yeah, 7.99 for all 48 pencils watercolor pencils with this roll which i know everybody loves and i will just show you very quickly you are getting the roll in there as well it's just it's a good gift to yourself to somebody else very portable too laura these are great to take to your craft classes yeah they yeah. are and it's nice as well if you are maybe you go you're going away somewhere maybe you're going away for the weekend oh, nice. or caravan yeah, or something yeah <laughs> yeah it's a bit rainy down there <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, they are lovely to take away because they do, they just roll up, they can pop in a little bag yeah, really easily. Perfect. You've got your brushes in there, so you know, if you just take your card stock, you've got everything mm -hmm. you need then to go. Yeah. Now, Laura. Yes. We are 26 minutes into the show. Yes. You're here for, well, until final calls for tomorrow, but the one day special is until six. Yeah, I won't be here tomorrow though. Oh, you won't be here tomorrow? No, um, Pauline's going to be taking over tomorrow. Okay, well, team, that's fine. Yes, Tag team. Yes. But the one day special, it's for 24 hours. If I was to tell you that 10% of the stock has already gone for that 24 hour period, wow. that's good, right? Yes. Hasn't. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. Know, it's a bit <laughs> awkward. Sorry about that, Laura. 10% not gone, okay. but I can tell you 25% of the stock's gone. Oh, wow. I know, right? <laughs> okay. We are busy. And I'm going to tell you, you at home, like me, you love a bargain. You like quality too, and that's what you're getting here. Minute everybody heard, you're paying $7.99 for these. We saw a massive spike, and that is, it's reality. And it's genuinely, if I was sat at home, if you need watercolor pencils, if you don't have any, do go for this one day special, it's great value. If you do have watercolor pencils and you're just looking to add some more into your repertoire, go for it. Uh, now, we've got some more for you, so we're gonna move from our watercolors to our brush markers. I had a little go with these. I have to say, Laura, these are beautiful. They're lovely. They're beautiful <laughs> to work with. So, wonderful brush marker alcohol pens and the effects, if you do love your coloring, uh, the effects on these are fantastic. Good saving too, 22 pounds. So, uh, now, in effect, that means that you're getting one of the sets already covered by that saving, because each of these $14.99 each. So the savings covered one of the sets and then some. Uh, two flexi payments of $23.98. Good bundle here as well, because you've got a lot of pens and you're also getting the education that, ha that handbook's good, Laura. They are, and for me, for somebody, you know, like I've said to you, I, this is how I started crafting, was watching demonstrators on TV. So for me, to be able to get something like a handbook in with something is just, you can't put a price on it, because when you get things home, you know, I've been there where I've watched demonstrations, and then I get things home, and I look at it, and I think, I can't, I can't actually remember what they told me to do. Was it this yeah. ink that I was supposed to use? Was, was it this? And I can't remember. So to get the you know handbooks in with products like this, because it is a product that you learn with and you grow with, and the more you use it, the more you'll know what to do with it, and the more things you'll start doing it, the more different techniques you'll start trying. So to get a handbook in there, just to kind of like hold your hand, to give you a helping hand Ooh. around. Now wait, st wait a second. So we've got a beautiful <laughs> brush stroke nib here. We've got a sort of detailed sort of pit pen, and I know a lot of people yes. love to doodle. Yes. So doodling with colour, game changer, Laura. Yeah, or if you do like um, Zen tangling, yeah. would be amazing with these. Oh, I love this. I have to say, Laura, <laughs> I'm really enjoying working with you. Your, your enthusiasm is infectious. <laughs> you know, you do, genuinely, <laughs> it's great. Uh, and this is what crafting is all about. 
yeah, we need to see some of these in action today. Uh, great pens. Now, we've got different bundles with the pens. If you do want to go for the Prism pens, $23.98 today. You're getting all the sets and you're getting the handbook in there and £22 savings. You know, it works out pound a pen. Wow. Eh? I mean, you think about that because I, I know a lot of crafters <laughs> like to then get the Micron pens colour, yes. but you'd have to buy those pens separately. Here, yeah. you've got the brush stroke pens perfect. And then, you know, for the tight detail, you yeah, can use your Yeah, if you just add in a little yeah. bit, then right. raise in. Busy here. Uh, 937 565, your item number. Right, we're going to move on. We've got our A4 watercolour pad. So, in chatting to Laura, and the one thing she really wanted to impress on uh, the team here and everyone at home is if you want to get the most out of your mediums, you've got to work on the correct cardstock. So, watercolour cardstock, we need good, good quality, sorry, watercolour pens, say, uh, pencils, you want good quality watercolour cardstock. Yeah, um, the only way I can kind of explain it is. Um, if you see a child with um, felt pens yeah. and when they're colouring, you'll see where the paper kind of starts breaking. It's scratchy. Yeah, and yeah. It, it'll scratch and then you'll see just bits of the paper and then they've just made a hole in yes. the paper. That is basically what you will do if you don't use watercolour card because you're using so much water, you need that card to actually absorb the water and not, you know, ruin and just make a big hole basically and Fair that's enough. the easiest way that I find to actually explain it. And you get that movement of the pigment too, you saw Laura working with those beautiful uh, watercolour pencils, if you want to get that movement, great, that great colour wash uh, and the effects from watercolour, you do need a good cardstock. So here eleven ninety nine, eleven ninety nine, good price for 30 sheets, uh, 504 059, your item number there. Now we're going to talk about alcohol markers. Massive saving. Do you know, effectively, if you have a look at these six, just over here, you're not paying for that. You're effectively, you're getting those, and they're 9 99 each. You're getting those thrown in. But if you are a Freedom member, you get even better. You can throw in another one as well, because I think Freedom members, oh, no, no, Freedom members, yes, yeah, sort of, kind of, nearly, nearly. We're, uh, what, a pound and a bit short. Uh, but you are getting the handbook in this too. So. All of that, the handbook, all of these, Freedom members save 68.98. I mean, 80 pounds and 87 pence for all of these alcohol markers is incredible. 84 in total, that is a great price. It's amazing, the savings. Yeah. But I'm a woman, so how my brain would work is whatever, if I was going for the watercolour pencils, whatever it was I was saving, I would still spend because I've kind of saved that money well, yeah. and I was still willing to spend it. So like that's, that, that's how my brain works. And you're seeing here, now uh, these are your brights, but just having a little look and that, just without blending, you see it jumps out the quality and also having a look here, no marks whatsoever. That's what we want from the alcohol markers, that flawless, uh, sort of finish to these. You do, and we do have um, Ink Me cardstock as well. So, like how I'm um, saying how um, important your watercolour card is to your watercolour pencils, it's the same with alcohol pens. So, we have Ink Me cardstock, and that cardstock is going to let the alcohol absorb into the cardstock and give you nice. a nice blend, which is what you need when you're using alcohol pens. But you do have a really nice. Um, array of colours in here. So you've yeah. got nice blends in here and you're going to be able to blend these to get different tones of colour well, as well. And that's what we love about alcohol markers. Now within this bundle, things I'm looking at. So we've got nice neutral colours over here, we've got our brights, we've got our grey tones coming through. Um, there's also like skin tones as well I feel is covered. We've got our pastels. Beautiful colour palette all throughout. £40.44, and pence, your first flexi payment for everything here. And just to remind you, if you are a Freedom member, effectively, you've not paid for six and nearly another one. So a pound and a bit shy of another one there. So, I mean, very, very close to a half price saving there if you are a Freedom member. A lot of you now popping this into your basket. 009 256, your item number. And we'll see all the colours as we go through. So there's blue tones, there's mixtures, there's uh, greens, there's pastels all of those colours at your fingertips. 
So any questions, please get in touch. I've got to say, uh, everybody at home, especially Craft Store viewers, in working with you over the years, I know how great you are at welcoming new guests onto the channel. I know that Laura was here on Saturday, but if this is your first time tuning in watching Laura, why not send in a message and say hello? Let's welcome Laura to the Craft Store. If you do want the stamps, I know Laura's a big fan of these. They're beautiful. Uh, so we have got a bundle with the stamps. Works out £5.60 per stamp there. Great value for money. £27.95 your price, saving £12. Uh, 438-219, your item number. I think it's about time we have a bit more of a play. What have you got up your sleeve? Right, I'm going to put this... I was going to show you how I've done my background, but yeah. I'm a bit... Um, worried about the time and I okay. want to get as many in as I can so we'll put this mm -hmm. card together and then we'll move on to a different one so okay. I'm using you'll always see me use the hunger dory card bases in all of my demos so I've got a Ava a card here and I've got some hunky dory um, holographic mirror on here mm -hmm. so this is just going to mat on my back base of this card nice. and then I've got some adorable scoreable so I've gone for this like dark purple just to go in with the colour that I've chosen to colour in with. And then my background, I've just used um, like a light pink. So I've used, if anybody has got some or you've seen them, our prism inks. Mm -hmm. So And I've used the background. So if I just grab my stamp, you'll see, even though I've used that large hydrangea stamp, you've got elements in here as well. So you've, you've got sentiments, you've got elements that you can build backgrounds, do borders with as well. So that's what I've done. I've used those and I've just randomly stamped my background on there. So using those stamps to do your actual backgrounds as well. I mean, if, I w if you wanted to, you know, if you had time, you could actually go in and then color those flowers in. So those flowers are the same purple as your, um, as your flowers that you've colored in on the front. Mm. Oh, so, nice. So I'm just gonna pull my tape off here. Okay. And I am making a mess. Okay, you can make a mess. So this is gonna go on there. So I've just got that adorable scoreable in the back and I'm just using my foam pads. Mm -hmm. So we brought the, I've, I've realised, I've, I keep saying I think it was Saturday, it wasn't, it was Tuesday I was here. Oh, it was Tuesday, okay. <laughs> yeah, sure, it was everyone's Tuesday. Everyone's going to be tuning on Saturday like what's going on, we didn't yeah. see Yeah, do you know, all the days just seem to, yeah. <laughs> they just go into one. Bless you. <laughs> but it was, it was Tuesday. Um, so, um, yeah, we, had, we brought the um, essentials on Tuesday and I know the foam pads and the tapes were mm. really popular then. Okay. So I've just used some ribbon here. Now we have got some new raffia on the show, which I didn't know we had in. But That's you, that pretty goes, ribbon, yes. it is. This go, the raffia actually works in really well with the stamps because the colours have been chosen to actually work in with those stamps. Really lovely. So I've just done a little border there with that ribbon. So again, I've just put it on the same adorable scoreboard. And we're going to pop this down. So again, using my three-in-one tool just to pull this off there. I have found the raffia, so just showing you here, you're getting a bag of the raffia, all of that, for a 9 99 details on the screen. You're getting a fair old whack. Uh, they're 100 metres in total, 440273. Doesn't it, it just shout, like, Easter and Mother's Day oh, yeah. with the they colours? Really do. And biodegradable as well. It all goes back to the ethics of Hunky Dory, 100% um, recyclable too. Okay. Really good. So you can see I've put in a circle there with that same hunky dory uh, mirror card and then that top. So that hydrangea you see me colouring, it, color in, yeah. all I've done is I've just gone in with one of my nesting dies, cut a circle out of it. So even though you've got that um, watercolour card, you know, don't be afraid to actually cut them down, use your die cuts. You can make it into whatever size card you want it to be. It's just a good size card to actually start off with. I've stamped one of the sentiments from that stamp in, just in some dark cardstock. And then I'm just going to use our construction glue to actually put that on there. So then you can see how that's come together with the um, embossing powder That's and using those pencils they just work in so you can see even though i've only used two pencils how many different shades of purple there are in those flowers just oh, by blending them out that is a stunning card 
thank you. Beautiful, beautiful card and so achievable as well. Uh, it's mainly to do, obviously Laura is very talented, but the pencils absolutely make a difference as well. Let me just show you some examples here. I mean, that is beautiful. But look at the quality of the pigment that you are getting with the pencils. Isn't that beautiful? The tones of green and those beautiful uh, reds in there. Or how about this with the blues? Using the stamps we have on the show as well. But isn't that beautiful color palette uh, there? Or if you wanted to pull the color into the background, you can absolutely do that. Equally, if you want something, this is nice. If you want something that is elegant, refined, a kind of similar premise to what Laura was just demonstrating, but this is on parchment or vellum. That is stunning, really, really nice. And it is a compliment to, oh, there's a few more here actually. Let me just show you this. Look at that, look at that. Hello, color. That is, Laura, that's with the pencils. Yes. What? <laughs> yeah, and the, and the background. That is, you would be forgiven for thinking that was the pens. That is such a good example of how good these pencils are, how you can build the color up. And again here, look at that. Stunning. Okay, so very quickly, I will just remind you, this is our one day special. Now with the one day special, you have got the two flexi payments. You're not saving 17 pounds. You're actually saving 22 pounds because there is a five pound saving already factored in to the price. If you were, and that's for the pencils by themselves, I'm just going to go this, uh, I know I said it before, just for the benefit of new viewers joining us, but it's how I kind of make it work in my mind as well. All of the elements at the front here, we are selling individually. So if you were to buy the watercolour cardstock individually, that's $11.99. If you were to get the watercolour brushes, they're $9.99. And if you get the educational book, that's $9.99. If you were to take all those prices off, the one day special price, so considering we have all those savings already factored in, it means you are paying $7.99 for all 48 pencils and you're getting the storage uh, roll-up bag in there as well. $7.99, hunky-dory. So the quality that hunky-dory bring, you're getting the roll-up bag, which I know so many people rave about. It's just having that portability with the bag, being able to unravel the quality of the pencils and having a look at the amount of colors. So 48 colors in total. Thinking about how this set would work for you if you don't have any watercolor pencils in your stash right now. Maybe you have got pencils, but they're not water-based. Look at all the colors that we have. Beautiful, bright, vivid colors for our florals, for our sunsets. Uh, then we've got our blues and our greens, our natural colors, our neutral colors there as well. All of those colors, there is a cheeky white in there as well, but you just can't see it, it's, it's, it's there. Uh, so those are the colors that you are getting. We are busy for our one day special. And I think a lot of you are appreciating value for money, absolute tick. We're gonna use all the components with the one day special because with the one day special, you got your pencils, which you need your watercolor brushes, you're gonna use. You need your card stock, which is here. And also you wanna get the most from your set. So you will be reading your education. Every aspect of this you will be using. And I can tell you 30% of the stock for our one day special has gone so far in this first hour, this is the launch hour, and it's stock that's meant to last a full 24 hours. I know, we're busy. Uh, okay, we're gonna head back to Laura. Laura, what have you got next? Okay, so what I've done is I wanted to show you how, because I showed you first of all how I was actually taking pencil off, um, <coughs> pigment off the pencil. Okay. So now we're gonna put pencil on to the actual flower. So I've stamped out one of the flowers. I don't know which one it is. It's the pansy. Just say if you need water, by the way, Laura. You okay? Oh, no, I'm fine. Thank yeah. you. Um, <laughs> so all I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna use a purple. And um, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna get a blend in here. So depending on how much color you want on here, just push as hard. So if I just come here, and I go in lightly, you can see that you're going to get in nice light coverage. And then when I go in with my watercolor brush, you'll see how that just blends in and you get a really soft color. But if I go in nice. really harsh, yeah. now look at the difference in the color. So the pressure you put on you is going to make a big difference as well. Do you find where you hold the pencil makes a difference on the effects you leave. So if you hold it sort of close to the bottom, you can get stronger uh, finish, but if you hold it higher up the shaft, then it's a lighter touch. Um, 
I know a lot of people have said I always hold it in the same place. Okay. <laughs> it's just that's just the way I do it. I yeah. know I have heard a lot of people say that they hold it in different places yeah. depending if they want um, a soft finish or a, a harsher finish. Yeah. So it, it's just I think with the pencils, it's just one of them where you know you have a play with them. There's no right or wrong way of doing it. It's uh -huh. whatever works for you. Yeah. You know, it's like I like to when I put the color down, I'll go in. So you can see I'm kind of doing circle I was emotions. Say that. That's nice technique yeah so I don't get any lines on there so mm. you know it's just about having a play you know have a look in the book and get a guide of what you need to do you know get your basics in of you know what ink and you know a rough guide of how to use them but then go with how it feels right to you there's the no book right is very way. good I had a quick flick through and I was impressed with the book so all I'm doing now is I'm going in to this yellow first mm -hmm. So I'm just going to pull that yellow out oh, and then pretty. I'm just going to go on there, get that colour off and then I'm just going to go in to that purple and can you see how the colour just changes, oh, it just yeah. blends in and then all I'm going to do is pull that purple into the yellow and you can see how straight away you've done a petal that goes from purple to yellow. Now, if I was doing that with alcohol pens, I could do it, but I would be here for a long yeah, time a to go from purple to yellow. Yeah. But with um, the pencils, you don't have to, it, it can be effortless. So for the next one now, because I've done that quite lightly, I'm going to go in a bit harsher. So I'm going to go in and just really get this colour down, okay. just so you can see the difference depending yeah. on the amount of pressure you put in nice. is going to be the quality because it is a very high quality pigment that you get in here so you are going to get that color coming through it just depends on how much how bright or how vivid you want those colors to be and now i'm just going in with my yellow so you can see you can see the difference there already with the with the color so all i'm doing is just pressing a little bit more harshly. Now I'm just mm -hmm. going to go over here just to make sure I've got no colour on my brush. We've got a lovely email from Anne. Do you mind if I read it? Yeah, that's fine. This is great. Anne, this is lovely. Thank you so much. So uh, just as we, we'll, we'll watch the demo and I'll read this. So Anne saying, hi, Laura, a warm craft store welcome from the very large family of crafters oh, to uh, Laura and Hunky Dory. That's lovely. Uh, I went to Preston. This is great. So um, Anne saying, I went to Preston several years ago and I purchased from Hunky Dory my very first die cutting machine. It was a Spellbinders gra Grand Caliber. Oh, now, that what, was my first die cutting machine too? as well. Yeah. Well, this will make you laugh because Anne said I had it in the box for a year before I bought some dice for it. I think so many crafters, you get stuff. It, it, you, it took me a couple of months before I yeah. got dice as well. <laughs> You're you not on your own there. It's a satisfaction of knowing that you had it, but that's a lovely, warm welcome. Uh, thank you so much. Oh, Anne. thank yeah. you. So you guys are great at welcoming guests, so uh, I really do appreciate that. Thank you, Anne. So you can see there now the difference between those two, just yeah. going in and adding different colour. Now, if you wanted to, you could wait for that to dry, go back in with your brushes, but because that's wet, I'm, going to, I'm just going to go in with my brush. So I've just picked out some more colour. So if I wanted to now, you could go in and layer that up. So you can go, yeah, you can go in, add more colour to these. There's no, you know, and this is what uh, I've been saying about the cardstock. If I was doing that on normal cardstock, it actually, would, let me see if I've got some. It wouldn't stand up to the saturation. It, it won't. And this is, oh, I've got some here. Because the key to get the most out of your watercolours as well, you need to, obviously, you're using a lot of water, and it makes a difference. Having the cardstock moist, it gives you that movement. It does. So if I just go in, now this is just a bit of normal cardstock. I'm just going to put that down on there. Now, I'm still going to be able to get it to move, but it's just not going to be the same. And as I go yeah. into this, you'll see, I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but you can yeah. see the bits kind of pits the it's like the little bits of yeah. the paper is just coming off you know as i'm doing it so you wouldn't yeah. be able to go in and add more color into mm. it and intensify that color what you know you you need a cardstock that you can go in and add more Keep to because if you wanted to you could do the background so like i showed you with the other one i did where you went in with the gray mm. and it's going to be the same with the leaves as well so if you go in so i'm just going to go in under this petal because mm -hmm. that's where I want my shading to be and this is the really nice thing about watercolour pencils is you can just use one colour and you're just going to get a nice blend so all I would do as a beginner 
get an image, so stamp your image out, and then put your pencils in where you want that shade in to be. Let me just check, I've got nothing on that brush. And then all I'm going to do is just, you just agitate that colour, mm. and then that's just going to blend out. Good now, and can you see how instantly you've got that shade in? Whereas yeah. with alcohol pens, you'd need three of each colour. You know, you do need a bit of practice yeah, as well, you know, yeah. which is why we've got the book in there with you if you're going for the alcohol pens. But with this, you get an instant blend. So, you know, this is why for me, water colouring was the first thing I got into because yeah. it does look so effective, but with really little effort yeah. when you're actually doing it. It really does, and they're good. You can see with the techniques there, the quality. What, what impressed me, even when Laura was working on a cardstock that wasn't a watercolour cardstock, she was still able to get great movement with it. That is because the pencils are a good quality. So, uh, you are getting the handbook in here as well. Now, what I like about the handbook, it gives you that education. This is well worth the read when you get this home because it gives you a solid foundation and it's something that I know Hunky Dory are really proud of as a brand, as a company. They want to ensure that you get the most from all their products. So it talks you through the color system. You've got the color wheel in there as well. Different techniques. There's the color wheel. So breaking it down, I know a lot of you will be already aware of this, but there's nothing wrong with refreshing your memory on it. And then we start exploring techniques and techniques and more techniques. I mean, it's absolutely chock-a-block full of techniques, page after page after page after page after page. Got inspirations in there as well. So you've got a lot to play around with. Now that book in itself is valuable because what that is, uh, the book's $9.99, and that is effectively your craft class. So imagine if you went to, had a master class with watercolors, you've got it in a book or something that you can come back to and reference time and time again. Uh, 9.99 here, your watercolor brushes, they're really good quality watercolor brush, and you've got your different uh, sizes from your large to your mid and your small, so your, your brush ends. And then over here, uh, we just stressed the importance of working with a watercolor cardstock. You've got your watercolor cardstock, that's worth 11.99. So 11.99 here, $9.99 here, and $9.99 here. All these items are found individually on our website, so they're genuine prices. We haven't just plucked them from thin air. If you were to take those prices off the price of the one day special, it means that the watercolor uh, pencils, all 48 of them, with the roll up case, $7.99. Just showing you, there's the roll up case there as well, so really portable. $7.99 for quality watercolours uh, that you're getting in the pencils. Now, I'm conscious of time. Laura, you've got about four minutes. Yes, that's fine. So what I'm going to do is we're going to put a card together. Now, this one, I just want to show you. If I just grab the one I just did. Now, I've done the exact same technique on here, but the only thing I've done differently on this one is I've used black heat emboss to actually get that embossed of the black there. So you can just yeah. see that go in. So it's giving you different techniques. So you can see this way, it's kind of more of a neutral, natural look. Mm. So, you know, you're gonna get, be able to get really nice, different looks with this. Okay. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna roughly place that, because I'm not sure where it needs to be yet. And that's gonna go on top. This is gonna go down the bottom. Now I've used, um, black embossing powder again just to stamp that um, you're in my thoughts mm -hmm. so that stamp is from the same collection and I'm going to use some foam pads so we're just going to pop these down here because I want this just to be raised up so I'm using my hunky dory miri again so this is my gold and then what I'm going to do, because I need to work out where this is going to go, because what we're going to do, we're going to have these at the front and we're going to have that in the background. So I'm just going to kind of hold that into place. And then we're going to roughly pop okay. that where it needs to go. That's, nice. That's going to go there. So we're going to have that in the background. Nicely lined up. Well, I haven't lined it all up yet. It can still go wrong. <laughs> it can still go wrong. So just get some more foam pads on you. So I always, always use um, foam pads in my, in my mat and layering. I just think it adds something straight away. You can have a really simple design card, but just mm. adding some, some height into your layers will really make such a difference. Yeah, definitely. And then that is just going to pop on there. Oh, I like that. So I'm just going to use some 
glue like a on the back of it. with the flowers. Yeah, so it's just, you know, it's just about th thinking of some different designs instead of, you know, because I, I tend to, because we do a lot of paper kits, I always tend to, like the last card I just did, you know, I always tend to look at stamps as like toppers. So it's just nice to look at, you know, look at them differently and think of different things that you can do with them. So I've got that sentiment that I've stamped down. So this is going to be my bottom layer. So I've just stamped that again in that black embossing powder, which is nice to actually have. Because it's, it's just nice to go in, you know, I before this show, I actually hadn't used my embossing powders for so long. It was really nice actually to just get in and use yeah. something a bit different. Do you know what I mean? You get stuck in kind of like, in your comfort zone of things that you do. So that, that's yeah. really, really nice. So again, using my um, finger lift here, uh -huh. and my three in one tool, just to pull that off there. Nice. And then this is just gonna go very on the pretty. top there. And then you can see, if I can open that. <laughs> There's oh, that's, our that's card. I love so that. Just with those flowers there in the background, but I think it works really nice. So different ways of using it, and obviously, yeah. you know, those pencils you could really mix and match up. So just a different way of actually using the stamps. You can see that they're very versatile. You're great they with are. them as well, Laura. I have to oh, say, thank you. yeah, you both are some beautiful examples. I hope you've enjoyed it. Unfortunately, time has beaten us. It's gone quickly. It, it gone does. Quickly. It, do you know? I was so used to 45 yeah. minutes. Yeah. I thought this was going to be so long but it does it like goes, still goes, <laughs> still quick. goes quick magic of tv uh, i'm so glad that we've had laura here launching our one day special so laura you're on back at eight and then I'm tomorrow back at eight and then switching. pauline's taking over here tomorrow and i'm going to crane craft tomorrow. okay busy day busy day yeah, busy day <laughs> uh, with the one day special sticking with that busy theme a lot of you have been taking advantage of the price and i do not blame you because what you're getting here is a collection of 48 of the most beautiful watercolor pencils with that roll-up case which i know so many people love you're you're getting your watercolour cardstock, you're getting your three watercolour brushes, your large, medium and small, and you're getting your educational book in there as well. Uh, just to, I'm sorry to labour the point, but it, for me, this was that eureka moment. If you factor in the save, well, the price of the watercolour cardstock, the pens, uh, the, sorry, the watercolour brushes and the book, all of those take the price off. It means that you are paying $7.99 for the pencil. $11.99 here individually, $9.99 here, and $9.99 here. So taking that price off, $7.99. 48 pencils, beautiful quality watercolour pencils. You're getting all of these colours at your fingertips in there as well. It is a great bundle from a great brand. Uh, and speaking of great, I thought you've done a great job, Laura. Thank you so oh, much. Oh, thank you. So you're getting That's to hang fun. out with Adam later? Yes. You have fun. You're going to have a lot of fun with that. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Thank you for joining us. Uh, so we've got plenty more coming up just around the corner. Now, I've got a happy hour uh, up next. So it's just by myself. So please keep me company. Don't